So I've made it to Magna. It's quite a nice little drive up here, it's only about 40 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit chilly. It's just a bit chilly. It's really nice this morning walking the dogs. Oh, yeah. Let's go in. So we're here, it's quarter past ten. Uh, we've got the early entry ticket, so we can go from ten o'clock. So we're going to have a mooch around. I, I'm have to get some plans. To release the stiffness from my legs. <laughs> from dancing for three hours last night, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let's yeah, go. So if you haven't seen that, we'll put a link to yep. Peter Kay's um, Dance for Life. Yeah. We're in. It's loads easier. It don't seem like a year ago, does it? It wasn't. It was July last year. They moved it. We've only had to wait like nine months, not a year. That's why. We've got on the go already. <laughs> it's cool. I love this little room. Okay, well, we'll go for a steam right here later. We're in at the shops already. Yeah. Let's go for a bit of a scoot around everything this morning to find out where everything is. Ah, oh, gizmo. Yeah. Look at the dirt. Sweet. So we're just going to get a go get a picture with Sid. Yeah. Baron's got they've given, they've given tickets out this year. So the number one, two, four, and then they keep tracking the board, so you can kind of queue jump or get a fast pass or whatever you That's want to turn. It. It's cool. Like yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, then we get to go back and he's uh, yeah, can queue while we're not around all these things. We'll go down to the end. Okay. Right, the cake people. <laughs> yeah. These are the cake people. Right there later. Uh, the the Birmingham one. Yeah, yeah. they're delicious. Santa Jack. It's a pop. Santa Jack. Got sorts of crazy stuff for these. I forget how like much stuff that they they have, like toys to pictures to books to. Anybody, if you know where I can get some American dog story. Yeah, she, she wants the one with them, Elsa and there. Uh, yeah. Mon Petit, didn't you? Mm. Look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. Oh, I quite like this one too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just awesome. I like the Jesus one. Yeah, yeah, do yeah. Teddy bear. And if we see. What's up now? Sure, it's getting tattooed temporarily. <laughs> yeah. Midway. Sorry, I was finished. Chris. Didn't hurt one bit. No. <laughs> okay. And apparently they last for a few days. Yeah, four or five days, maybe Sometimes a week if you're lucky. Penefects at heartmail.com. Yeah, Penefects. Check them out. So we're sat chilling out waiting for Sid's Q and A. Um, it's only about 20 minutes or so. Then we come sit down, and Ariane's quite happy because this bit behind us that's blowing is a heater. <laughs> yeah. You know me. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait a minute. I mean, it's just going to be like a radiator this afternoon. That's a rubbish idea. Yeah. It's the same on his way. <laughs> okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Horicon UK and uh, the first of this week's celebrity interviews. Uh, my name's Daryl Buxton and I've been uh, writing about horror for um, over 30 years for various magazines and websites. I was here last year, you may remember, to interview uh, Kane Honor and Ian McCulloch and it's my great pleasure to introduce the first guest of this weekend. Will you put your hands together please for the great Mr. Sid Hay. Sitting here is because you're sitting there. Without you, 
love you. I love you. some of the great movies you've done, but I'd like to touch first of all on um, the fact that in, in movie history there have been great partnerships, Scorsese with De Niro, John Ford with John Wayne, Tim Burton and Johnny Depp. Now you're one of the few actors who's actually done that twice with uh, Jack Hill and with Rob Zombie. Um, so what is it about these sort of director-actor partnerships and, and what's your experience? Um. I love working with those two guys as well as Quentin Tarantino because they do it right, okay? They make their vision very clear to you as an actor and then they just get the hell out of the way and let you do your job, which is it's the way it should work, right? Uh, if they thought enough of you to hire you, then they should just let you do what you do. And, and that's why, that's my appreciation for them. For allowing me to be myself. I'm not Captain Spaulding. <laughs> um, so what about your own character in the movie, Jeff? Uh, Sid? There was, okay, I work organically, okay, which means that, first of all, within every person is every personality type. And I have to just go inside and find that person and bring them out. In the case of Captain Spaulding, at the end of the day, I had to put them back or else bad, bad things could happen. Okay. But there was no reference for uh, Ralph, you know? So what I did was I went to the zoo and I, I hung out at, at, at the uh, primate uh, uh, area and watched the apes and gorillas and whatnot interact with one another. And then I went to uh, uh, playground, those were in the days before you were considered a pedophile if you went to a playground. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I watched the kids play because that's basically what he was, you know, he was part animal, part little kid. And so that's how I developed. Okay, um, now uh, if Quentin revived your career or brought you out of uh, TV hell, um, You've, you've said in interviews before that you regard Rob Zombie as the guy who really, really, really did save your career or really revived it. When did you become aware of Rob and his interest in you? Um, and, and this is really wild. Okay. Uh, I, in 1992, I just stepped away from the business. Uh, nobody ever quits acting. Okay, It's like the mafia. You can't quit. Okay. Um, but I said, you know, if people don't understand that I can do more than just point a gun in somebody's face, I'm just going to back up until somebody gets a couple of synapses working and figures out that I can do more than that. And um, so I got a call from my agent, and he said, okay, here's the deal. I went, oh, God, what? He said, you go to this office and sign a letter of non-disclosure, take the script home and read it, and if you like it, the part is yours. I had never even met Rob. So I took the script home, like a good boy, like he was supposed to do, and I read it, and I thought, I, oh my God, I can have so much fun with this. So I called the next morning, and I said, let's do it. And the first time I met Rob was when we were getting our wardrobe fittings. Okay? Now we cut f forward to like three years later at his wedding reception, and I was standing there talking to his brother, and he said, this is so weird. I said, what, the wedding? He goes, no, I'm standing here talking to you. I said, what are you talking about? He said, when Rob and he were like eight and nine years old, they used to wake up every Saturday morning and watch Jason of Star Command. And I kept popping up in films that Rob was watching here and there. And he said, you know, if I ever get to direct the film, I want that guy in it. And that's how I got there. Fantastic. Yeah. Now we're, to, we're back here tomorrow and I'll be asking you more about uh, Jason of Star Command then so we can talk in more depth about that. Uh, we're going to open this up to the audience in just a moment. Um, uh, before we do, I'd just like to ask about um, your screen time in uh, House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects because it strikes me that Captain Spaulding has made such an, a, a big, big impact on the horror world. 
the, the face and the image is all over the posters and everywhere. I'm sure people have been bringing uh, Spalding photos and so on before we design this morning. But um, in terms of screen time, you don't actually get all that much. Um, uh, um, I wonder if any more was filmed or if it was a case of uh, you and Rob just deciding less is more. Well, uh, in the House of a Thousand Corpses, I was only in four scenes. Okay, uh, that was per the script. But I had so much fun uh, playing with Rob okay, and pushing him because one of the first scenes that we shot was the scene where the guys come into my uh, uh, gas station to rob the store. And the guy says, stick him up, and I went like this, right? That wasn't in the script, okay? <laughs> and Rob started laughing during the scene, and I cut. <laughs> Rob, come on, hold it together, we're trying to make a picture. Okay? <laughs> so we had to do it all over again. But that was the key. If I could make him actually blow a take, I knew I was in the right direction. So he just kind of let me go. And if anybody's seen the uh, the, uh, the DVD, the uh, the menu, okay, um, that was my section of that menu was about a little over five minutes long, and I got the script for that after midnight, the night before we were supposed to start shooting it. And I went in the next morning and I said, Rob, are you crazy? I just got this after midnight last night. I, I, I you know, can't memorize all of this in, in just a couple of hours. And he goes, well, do you have the high points? you know where it has to go? I said, yeah. So he handed me a jelly donut and a pornographic magazine and said, go. <laughs> and so I just, I just goofed and just went off crazy. I don't know. Yes, I am crazy. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to wrap there. Um, if any of you that are sticking around tomorrow will be back with Sid for another half hour, we'll be touching on uh, some of the same stuff we've talked about today, more on uh, Captain Spaulding. Um, we'll be looking at uh, Galaxy of Terror, Bone Tom and War, Jason of Star Command. Um, if you've got any other questions for Sid, he'll be around for the rest of the day, so uh, you can um, uh, join his uh, autograph queue and speak to him there. But for now, will you put your hands together for the great Mr. Sid Hayes. Yeah, it was good. I, I like him. He's a bit like Billy Scott, loads of stories and loads of films. He's been there for years. And... Yeah, it's good. Yeah, he's definitely with. Um, sure, sure. Uh, we can come, come back tomorrow. And he's generally really humble. Yeah, he is. He's a yeah. good yeah. family again. It's, like, yeah. it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> so much going on. Oh, no. The best. Looks very well. Okay, I'm going to go back inside. Are you going to go to the into this bit? It's cool. I don't want to go. I can't go. I don't want you to go. <laughs> you won't ruin it. It's been dried for like an hour. I don't care. <laughs> it's cool. Zombie car. Oh, anti-zombie car. Oh, that's the bottom bar. Maybe walk back to the old. Oh, yeah, it's going. We're going to do some axe throwing. I might see if I don't spend my money on beer today and do some axe throwing because that sounds awesome. Knife and axes are turned out. Yeah, this is good, isn't it? I show this around every time we come around. But this place is amazing. Yeah, I've seen that. Where's that coming from? I can't figure it out. Lasers. <laughs> Lasers. <laughs> Venturing up to either end. Oh, look, they've got the uh, body paint project and some stuff in here. Let's go have a quick squeeze on So, we're down to either end. Oh, there's the animals. Crikey. What size is that? That's a big lizard. Oh, come and have a look at these, isn't it? That's mad. <laughs> oh, these are wicked. Open the box. Open Why the box. does it say you can? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not opening it. Uh, is that the. What's the film? What's the film? In hell or from hell?
know what it was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's the demonologist guy. Boys books last time. This picture. This picture. Really, 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 really bad. And uh, like I say, I went to do an exorcism. First one I've done. Let's go for a snip of these. We ever do. So I think I'm gonna glass over this. These guys are making loads of these cool little um, statues and things. Chris eyes. I know the matter. Um, and then they're all going to auction it off and uh, make a wish. And is there some of the most personal with Charles and basically all this stuff that we're going to see, they're going to sell it off. You can buy it. I don't know. Don't ask me details. I'm hoping there'll be some signs on the way around. <laughs> I might tell you, but that's awesome. It's Captain Scott. No, it's not. Do you know what's super cool about all these? Yeah, do you know what's awesome about all these? What? They're all that one Frankenstein head that then they've moulded into different things. Wow. You know, I look at this and I think it's going to open its eye. Ah, oh, it just looks a bit like that, don't it? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I did so. I watched it. You would like it. No, I probably wouldn't. It's in German and it's zombie Nazis. Oh, look. It's your favourite. Celebite. Thank you, Fly. That was quite awesome. <laughs> I want to do this. Oh, look. Universal monster. I've got a werewolf, Frankenstein, and a swamp thing. They do a fish head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever that's from. Oh, yeah. That's quite cool, two face one. Oh, yes. Judge the dead. Yeah, I'm up. All well, this will be with online auction 31st of October. 100% raised. Goes to make a break. It's brilliant, it's a really good idea. Oh, no. Mars attack. Okay, 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 okay. That's awesome. I found the one I want. That's what I think it's me. The other monkey monkey. So I'm getting ahead of it. Arrow's in front of me. That's why she's getting ahead of herself. You should see these already. The monkey in the organ finder. <laughs> Oh, that's wicked. These are awesome. These are proper badass. Who's telling me this is Frank and Tim? It's bent edge, it pops open. That's awesome. Oh, it's got a little dude inside. Yeah. That's amazing. That's badass. <laughs> Oh, there's animals. Oh, oh, is it cut out? Yes, here's mine. Thank you. Uh, oh, it's going to go touch the ground. Like. Whoa, whoa. Rolled in it, and then rolled in a food. It's No, it doesn't scare me. It's in a box. You know that we're outside. Um, just had a good chat, had a stroke of a pug, so much sure. Oh my god, um, that pug, like my dogs love Dave, <laughs> right? And this pug really wasn't interested in me to begin no. with, was it? No. Dale comes over, it's like on its back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, oh my I god. love these animals so much. And there's Dale. Hey up. <laughs> there you go. So I've made to the car, we've got a bit bit of picnic lunch and whatnot, and I think I'm gonna put the cow on. Mine cool. Get cowed up. Um, we're gonna go and see Sid and do the scare Yeah, we're gonna go see Sid. So he's not quite back from his QA's yet, which is why we thought we'd, we'd duck out. So he had his QA um, and then he's been for his photo op, and he's supposed to be back anytime now. And then the ticket numbers they're doing is 116 to 126. So we're like that. in that. We're in that ballpark. Um, so we figured actually if we, we quick 20 minutes back here, get some food, get back in, we should be grand. 
Then I can meet Sid dressed as a cow. <laughs> what the hell yeah. is this? <laughs> Probably not. He, he does a lot of these. He, he's seen a lot of weird things. Like that, but... yeah. and you've seen the films he's been in. <laughs> yeah. Here's Dale dressed as a minotaur. Look at this. Look at his feet. It's good. It's good. It's good. Kiv said. Closer. <laughs> Shut in. <laughs> Thank you, Herbert. And our contestant number four is Alice in Nightmare Land and the White Rabbit. Ooh. Feel sick, Hi guys. Hello. I can you introduce yourself to the crowd. Um, hello, I'm Alice in Nightmare and this is my Hi, Mike Rebbe. Hello. <laughs> so the back of the car. Fade of all fails. There's just costume competition. Um, Battery dies. There wins costume competition. <laughs> I took some photos on my phone. Yeah, you can drop them in. Um, you got a certificate? Yeah. Best original character. Which face? There's only a dozen people, so it's not like the grandest thing and we're in a, we're in a Comic Con with 100 entrants, but you know, I'm happy with saying. Hard work pays off. Um, get shirts and a goodie bag. Because I'm just dying to do it. <laughs> I just need to undress, but the going to let me undress until we've looked in the bag. No. <laughs> so Ryan's going to do the opening. Scare Play Part 2. Goodie bag winner. Sponsored by Smart FX. Let's have a look. It feels heavy. I mean, I don't know what's in it. But... 50% off any Smart FX products at the website. Cool. I don't know what they do. Well, see, they've got a stand here somewhere inside. Mm, so that's quite cool. What is this? What is this? It looks like a money box. Ah, uh, okay. I thought it might be a mug until I saw there's no handles on it. Yeah, that's why I was like, it's not a mug. <laughs> Savings, what nightmare? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, quite cool. Money box. It's quite cool. Well, that says mug on it, so that's going to be a mug. And you got a queuing saying your competition winner. Mm. Let's have a look at the smug. It's going to be one of their Huracan mugs, isn't it? Ah, oh, it says on oh, cool. it. Youth scare play. Wicked. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Not bad for an email ent entrance. That's it, isn't it? Sweet. Right, I'm going to defer. And then we're going to go to the hotel because it's finished hotel. for the day. It's we're doing, yeah, it's 20 past four. It closes at five, so... Um... It's now... Yeah, half four. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool, so we'll see you in a moment. So we just in, checked in. We got the same rooms last year. Um, so, yeah, TV, three around the second. Yeah, it's nice. We're probably going to go downstairs and get some grub at the moment. I'm starving. Yeah, but it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. So yeah, just a little TV. We, get, we do get some breakfast. We wondered about that. Yeah. Some breakfast bars and some cereals. Oh yeah, I remember eating it then. Yeah. yeah, I thought we brought them with us. I was thinking about the taxi. In the bed, and Ariane. She doesn't come in the room. She's just in it. Yeah, same room as last time. And then, yeah, just in here, just a little shower and toilet and whatnot. So, yeah. And they tell you about the cards, cost us, what did it cost in the, the Uber? Six quid, seven quid, something like that? I'll be able to tell you now. Yeah. But yeah, he's, he's only a couple of miles away, like maybe maybe three or four miles at the most. Yeah, so saying an Uber, it just depends what time, I guess it'd be the same getting back tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to get some food, then we'll probably come back and watch Eurovision, I reckon. Something like that. We'll be back. Look at it, this is really nice. There's a golf course at the back. We're at the front again though. I wish there was a bedroom at the back. Yeah. And this golf course, I think it's going to get some food. Super cheap. Yeah. I'm so ready for this, I've got a face full of chips. Hi. Everyone's got ham and eggs. Ham and eggs. Whip some on your rings. Oh yeah. Reminds I'm putting it as well. Yeah, I'm putting it. Massive this, cake. This reminds me of my um, grandma. Ham and eggs. <laughs> Fair enough. On your rings. Five of them, look. Still going good. 
Sorry, it's best bit. What are you going to do, babes? Game bad. Get tattooed. Game bad. They're probably done, I think. Are we done? Yeah. We're done. We, we might, we might, might, might pop up. We're gonna watch Eurovision. I think we're gonna chill out in bed. A brilliant day today. Um, Hong Kong's good. Time's flown by. We, we don't have a bit of a little in the middle. I think we're gonna have that today. We've got no, to sit down. We have to start. some stuff. Yeah, watch the Q and A. Then we. Um, I'd walk around for a bit. Like, see if I had some lunch. And, uh, yeah, it's just just flown by today. So. Well, I'm excited to go for tomorrow because I feel like I've done not a lot today. So, yeah, see what we do tomorrow. See you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.